Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Resting Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing about secret management using .env file and secret variables in Bruno. In any collection, there are secrets that need to be managed. These secrets can be anything such as API keys, passwords or tokens. A common practice is to store these secrets in environment variables. There are two ways in which developers share Bruno collection. First way, check in the collection folder to source control like git. Second way, export the collection to a file and share it. In both these cases, we want to ensure that the secrets are stripped out of the collection before it is shared. Bruno offers two approaches to manage secrets in collections. First option is .env file. This approach is inspired by how usually developers manage secrets in their source code. In this approach, you can store all your secrets in a .env file at the root of your collection folder. Bruno will automatically load these secrets from this file and make them available to your collection via process.env.secret name. And now you can safely check your collection to source control without worrying about exposing your secrets. Don't forget to add .env to your .gitignore file. So first I will be showing how to manage secret using .env file. I will show my file system. For this demo, I will be using the authorization collection. In authorization collection, you can see a .env file. You can see the type .env file. In this file, I have mentioned two environment variables. One is password and another is test.password. The values for these two environment variables is same. And also, one important point you have to note that is you have to add this particular file to .gitignore file. If I move back to Bruno API testing folder, you can see there is a .gitignore file. So in this .gitignore file, I have mentioned the collection name, forward slash, there is a star operator and .env. So this will make sure that doing source control, this particular .env file is not moved to the remote repository. Now I am going straight into the demo. I have opened Bruno. So there is a generate bearer token request in authorization collection. For the time being, I have changed the password value to password itself. I will be changing this value after the demo. So you can see that in the email, I have mentioned my email address. In the password key, I have given the process.env dot corresponding environment variable. So you can see the environment key so this is the environment variable i will be passing its value is password so by using this format bruno will be loading the environment variables and providing it as a value to this password key now i am going to hit this request so we can see that we have received a token from the server so this .env file format is working. Now I will be shifting the environment and shifting the environment to auth and env and I am showing the configure part here. You can see I have created one more environment variable here which is called password value. Its value is mentioned in this format. This is because in this particular dot env file i have given the environment variable with a dot in between so in that case you have to use the square bracket notation and ha you have to mention the environment variable in dots so if you have some dot operators along with your environment variables you have to follow this format otherwise you can directly mention like this so now i am going to use this environment variable so this is the environment variable and also you can see that on hovering you can see the value is coming now i am changing the environment variable here i am saving so you can see it's getting shown in green color that means the variable from the environment is being referred correctly now i am going to hit this request again so we have got the token this time also. So if you have some dot between the environment variable, you have to follow this particular pattern. 
if you are not using any dot between the variables then you can directly go for process dot env dot the corresponding environment variable name so in case my case it is password you can see the variable has been referred in green color so it indicates it is being referred correctly I am, I am saving the request I am sending the request again so you have got the response correctly the important thing is you have to add this particular dot env file to dot git you know, that is very important here I have mentioned that so that it will not be part of the source control now the next way is using secret variables I will read through the description about secret variables in this approach you can check the secret checkbox for any variable in your environment Bruno will manage your secrets internally and will not write them into the environment file and now you can safely check in your collection to source control without worrying about exposing your secret when you export your collection as a file Bruno will not export the secret variables I will be showing the second approach so in this auth environment I am clicking the configure option you can see I have created one environment variable called password env value I am unchecking this checkbox so you can see this is the value I am saving the request now I will show how Bruno is storing these environment variables in file system I am going to the corresponding collection authorization there is a environment folder I am opening that there is a auth env so this is the environment name I am opening that one you can see the password env value is showing the correct password right now this is because we have unchecked the secret checkbox in the environment once I check the secret checkbox and after saving you can see the new change in this file you can see notepad is asking to reload this particular file so now you cannot see the password env value it has moved to the secret section you can see now the password value is not exposed this is the second way if you make the variable into a secret variable Bruno will not be storing that value in the file system if I again uncheck this particular checkbox and after saving you can see the value again in the environment file now you can see the value again so this is the second way in which Bruno allows us to store the secret values uh, in our file system so I hope uh, this session was very useful for everyone if you find this video valuable please consider subscribing the channel please like share and comment on the video thanks for watching and keep learning